TV. Uh, the internet is a f access and it's virtually almost free for everyone to communicate from all over the world. And the census is uh, a lot of people are waking up and a lot of people are seeing the shenanigans and all the uh, crazy things that are going on within not only our government, but the, the world governments. And um, we have so many people that are putting the word out, that are stepping up to the plate and doing whatever their area expertise is to uh, uh, get this information out, get the knowledge out so that the people can have uh, the power themselves to make their own decisions and not be herded uh, like sheep. Sheeple. sheeple. Sheep people. As, as, uh, where, where, as we've seen in the past. This is a pretty scary uh, event and we're here right now and this is September 7th already. I mean, uh, September we start to escalate into this. October it blows out of proportion. Yeah. November it scales down. I feel like I'm in the height of hurricane season. I live in Florida, you know. It's like every day I watch the tropical update. It's like every day we're going to be seeing uh, on the news uh, the force that's going to be behind um, the uh, spin on this uh, to get the flu shots. Even if you see them getting shots on TV, Rumsfeld training and all those, they're probably blank. They're probably it's BS. Yeah. They wouldn't give it to their family or kids. Nobody right. inside of the government at any high position would give themselves or their family the flu. We've heard this from multiple insiders and whistleblowers all saying the same thing. Any doctor with real credentials that knows what he's doing and is not being paid off understands the same thing. You heard one third of the nurses in England refuse to take the vaccination. These are health professionals. Why do you think that is? And there's a lot of health professionals that are actually going to be leaving our country because they don't want to be forced to not exactly. or even for their children put, or their children or have their hands in this because they have more wisdom and understanding of what's going on than the average person. And uh, they remember 1970s where uh, this was a pretty big, uh, uh, horrendous mistake that they made. We're rushing through this. Uh, this is all planned. How does this flu uh, anyway uh, show up in Mexico? I mean, th there's a lot of little things here that would uh, that raise red flags. Yeah. That makes it sound like uh, I mean, it might as well they might as well blame it on the aliens or something. Uh, uh, but they're we're doing it ourselves, and we're doing it to ourselves. And um, they're going to blame it on terrorism. They're going to blame it on terrorism because we're the terrorists. Right. It's a made up right. plot. It, yeah, incidentally, after nine eleven, uh, they boosted up all this uh, uh, that um, Halliburton and Cheney and all these people that were involved in. Um, those companies, they made billions and billions of dollars. All those investors made so much money. So they create a scare, and then uh, the companies... Uh, the solution. Yeah, the solution is the companies that are connected with the people in power. Um, and, um, and either way, whether they're destroying something or rebuilding something, uh, uh, that the same companies are making all the money. I say if those companies want to go in there, they should do it for free. You know, if they, these vaccinations, they should do it for free. Nobody should profit. You'll be so. You, you'll see how fast nobody wants to do any <laughs> of this stuff. Nobody should profit. Uh, you know what you throw out there, people. I mean, these people don't have souls. I would imagine they don't really believe in a a higher intelligence or a power or of uh, of the consciousness. It's a because, Luciferian philosophy. Yeah, although, because they wouldn't be doing this. I mean, they have to come back again. Uh, and, and repeat these lifetimes over and over again. Uh, so, um, you know, they speak with forked tongue. They are serpent people, <laughs> whatever it is. I have no idea. But uh, when you see something on a massive scale with such um, uh, 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 lack of um, uh, uh, control, regulation and control on this thing, um, that, that, that's a red flag. And I, I, we want to just warn, you know, our viewers and everyone out there, uh, do not take the flu shot. Uh, actually, just do your own investigation. Right. Uh, look at all the... Uh, right. Um, Go to the videos. videos. It's esotericcosmos.com forward slash swineflu.html. And we do have good news for everybody because there's a very simple solution to not catching the swine flu or not even being susceptible to catching flus, period. And the best thing you could do from many insiders we got is get the D3 vitamin. Um, at a time like this, they say anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000 IUs 
will be plenty. And if you go to the website and actually watch the videos, we have inside information from Henry Deacon that Rosebud was just talking about, and also from another doctor just showing you simply by taking this vitamin, which has been suppressed for many reasons, so it's important you do your homework, get this vitamin, you can get it for as low as two dollars and like sixty-four cents a month, um, and there's a link on the website, just click on the D3 when you go to that link at the bottom, and it's, you know, two dollars and something a month, and you don't have to worry about swine flu, um, and it's simple, all it is is a vitamin, mm -hmm. and they're vaccinating and killing thousands and thousands, they're probably going to be killing millions of people in the next few months, so. Isn't it interesting why the government and all these companies never come up with anything natural that we can do naturally uh, of that not. would save us our lives, our health, and our money? You know, they put us in these positions where we're forced to spend money we don't have, or if it's going to be free, the ramifications of it will be losing Death. time from work, <laughs> our, you know, uh, possibly uh, our lives. Uh, hopefully that's not the case. I mean, this is a very serious matter of people showing us that uh, we're not living in a free democratic society anymore. We're living, if this gets to the point where they're going to force this on us. That's Nazi uh, Germany. Be, yeah, it, it's just like Nazi Germany. As a matter of fact, uh, they've taken a lot of these ideas from the uh, Germans. And it's the same people them. behind and that whole same, movement and that's the same behind people, this one. So. Rumsfeld, Cheney, all of you. I don't know how you sleep at night. But God bless you, because I hope you have the flu. <laughs> I hope you get the flu. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't hope anybody gets the flu, but I, I just think this is just a, re, uh, uh, a big scare tactic. Um, those of us who may get a version of the flu, which we normally get every year, uh, the vitamin D3. Uh, we'll prevent it. Yeah, stay home. Uh, the, the most basic thing is, is cleanliness washing your hands, uh, staying out of public places. Right, the uh, worst places yeah. to be right now are hospitals and schools. Right, right, and and uh, uh, that's where they're probably going to, you know, quarantine us in hospitals and I'd schools. I'd pull my right. children out of the school right. system altogether right. if right. I had children. But the most basic thing they say is just keep washing your hands, take lots of vitamin D. And vitamin uh, C is vitamin probably C, good Vitamin uh, C, get a little sun. We, we live in Florida so we can get advantage of a little bit of the sunlight that absorbs the vitamin D naturally in through your skin. Uh, start, you know, eating right, staying healthy, uh, drinking um, uh, water without the fluoride in it. Uh, uh, you know, just make sense out of your health. Uh, and I think you're going to be a lot better off than taking a shot that's going to give you uh, all kinds of side effects, so just like with any of the drug companies. All the side effects right. outweigh a hundred times the actual uh, uh, basic thing that you were uh, taking the um, the, uh, the pill or whatever it is, uh, the shot, to uh, get away from uh, uh, getting the flu or the cold or whatever disease that you're fighting. Um, these are all these pharmaceutical companies that are uh, looking to make a major, uh, you know, major uh, uh, mark on the stock exchange which they already are. People are investing heavily now because they believe that these companies are uh, going to dispense and really make out a great deal of money on this. So. Right. And all you got to do really is follow 